Well, welcome uh, everyone. This is uh, Aruna Pradhan from the Brigham and Women's Hospital. We're here at the American Heart Association Scientific Sessions in Philadelphia. Uh, I had the pleasure of reviewing the Colcott trial, which certainly uh, has knocked some doors down in terms of introducing potentially a new therapy, colchicine, for the treatment of patients with prior myocardial infarction. These patients, 4,745 4, patients with a recent myocardial infarction were randomized to either colchicine 0.5 milligrams or placebo and then followed for an average of, of two years of follow-up. And what the trial demonstrated is using this potent anti-inflammatory agent uh, that there was a 23% risk reduction in the primary composite endpoint. Certainly, uh, cardiologists that, uh, that are considering use of this agent will need to wait for the uh, results of four other clinical trials in this space. But what Colcott demonstrated is that there is a potential uh, benefit from this type of therapy on the heels of the Cantos trial, which certainly demonstrates significant benefit overall for the hard cardiovascular endpoints. Now, I do want to point out uh, that perhaps discouraging to some is that the individual hard cardiovascular endpoints of myocardial infarction, total mortality, and cardiovascular death were not reduced significantly, but there was consistency of, of effects such that uh, all the signals were that uh, if potentially the trial had gone longer, uh, that we would have seen emergence of a cardiovascular benefit. Unfortunately, it ended when it did, uh, when it was planned to end, and uh, these are the re results we have from the first trial in this space. As, uh, as cardiologists consider using colchicine in patients with uh, uh, prior cardiovascular disease, we certainly need to consider that this is not a one-and-done, short-term therapy that we're talking about. We're talking about treating these patients for potentially years or lifelong therapy. Before we have recommendations whether or not that might be effective, we need to have the results from the other clinical trials, and we need to have more safety data. Colchicine is used with caution in patients with renal dysfunction, which tends to be a lot of the patients that we see with heart disease, so we need more evidence of safety in that population. We also need more evidence of the mechanism of action. Uh, some data were available in the study to suggest uh, that uh, the CRP uh, levels, white blood cell count levels, decline in both treatment groups, perhaps a tiny bit more in those on colchicine, but again, not meeting statistical significance because of the sample size. So we look with enthusiasm to the other clinical trials that are going to be uh, revealed both at this meeting, Colchicine PCI on Sunday, but also uh, the others, uh, Lodoco 2, uh, Clear Synergy, as well as Convince, it'll come out in the upcoming years.